I think if we summarize what we just learned, we'd have to use the words um, safety, uh, accuracy, uh, reduction quality, implant location, revision surgery, knowledge, education. Those would be the words that come to mind when I think about my experience that I've had with uh, this uh, device. Have a look at this example. Are the screws and wires okay? Single view is no view. Does the ascending iliosacral screw trouble you? Is the position of the wire okay in the second sacral segment? How about this? How about we're going to take this 70-year-old man with an associated both column and has a half of his dome on the posterior wall and we're just going to clamp that through the tensor and we get a good reduction and put the screws in. Is the reduction good? Is the screw that's holding it or the screws that are holding it, are they, are they located well? How about a femoral head? When you do a femoral head, is the wall located well, the peripheral wall? Are the screws long enough? Are they too long? Are they seated well enough? How about this one? Are these screws safe? That's two views. Are the ramus screws safe? Are the iliosacral screws safe? Is the reduction sufficient? Would you believe if I told you to focus on the top two iliosacral screws in the upper sacral segment and focus on them especially that this would be the post-operative CT scan? Would you like to have known that? before the surgery was over or would you like to know that after the surgery is done and do you really want to do a revision surgery when you could have just done it while she was asleep? And what if you do ankle surgery? Is this syndesmotic reduction, this clamp application good? Are you sufficient with this? These are just some of the clinical dilemmas that I think can be solved by using a device in the operating room that provides you with knowledge. You don't know what you don't know. And you, you, you can't know what you can't see, but you might be able to understand what you can see. And what this allows us to do is visualize things in the operating room that previously weren't, we weren't able to.